when I listen to music, I want to feel the emotion and that just comes through in every song that he sings. Hi everybody, welcome back to Dana of All Trades. One of the things I forgot to mention in my intro video was that I have a exponential love for music. Right now I'm really vibing Sam Smith's new album. I've been listening to it on repeat since it released. He recorded 120 to 130 songs for this album. So you know it must be good when he has about 120 songs that he's throwing away. What I'm going to do is play you parts of some of my favorite songs and talk about the, some of the meanings behind it. Right now I'm going to play Baby You Make Me Crazy. This song is about a relationship that Sam was in and somebody broke up with him over the phone. Pretty shady. And then he turned it around. He was like, okay, well this is really terrible. I just had my heart broken, but I'm gonna put a pin in that and I'm not gonna think about you tonight. Instead, I'm gonna call up my sister and my best friends and we're just gonna go out and have a good time. And that's literally what he did. I really dig this song. It reminds me of Christmas. And I just really like to hear Sam sing upbeat songs. It would have meant so much if you would have looked me in the eye. Coward. Broken up over the phone. It's just so shady. Um, but I love that song. It's just such a fun vibe. And I've totally been there. You have a bad day. And instead of like wallowing in the sorrows, you just call up some friends and decide to turn it around. And sometimes those are like the best nights. So that's a good vibe. I really like the song Scars. It's nice for Sam to have a different story. I mean, it's still a story about heartbreak, but it's not just his sad story this time. It's actually the story about his parents and them being divorced. But then it's uplifting because he's pretty much saying how each parent held their own role and healed the scars that he was going through because of their divorce. I come from parents that aren't together and they never really worked it out and they never really had like a healthy relationship. And then so with my own son, he comes from parents that aren't together. And I feel like it's really important to put the drama aside for the kids. And maybe that's why I like this song because I feel like his parents are doing that for their children and I can respect them and understand them as parents. This is from my mother, from the older brother of your children, made to three. Now you found your lover cause there was an no old father who made you laugh and happy. It's been a long five years, I cried a thousand tears and here we are after the war. It's been a long five years. I've cried a thousand tears. And here we are after the war. I just feel like that's such a powerful lyric. Like we've been through hell and now here we are. And it just shows you the power of love and the importance that at the end of the day, even if they're not together as a family, that the parents need to be there for their children. My favorite song on the album and the last song I want to talk about is the song called Him. I think this is the most important song because it feels like it's the truest to Sam. And even though he's always very transparent with his fans, this is the most 
insightful. It's pretty much him coming out to his holy father, to his God. And then he's saying, I'm sorry, but I love him being his lover. It's this metaphor and this dichotomy of I love him as in my lover and I love him as in Jesus and it should be okay that I love both. This is one of the most powerful songs on the album. I have gay uncles and I feel like they shouldn't be judged. I feel very proud of Sam for writing this song for that community. Holy Father, we need to talk I have a secret that I can't keep Don't you try and tell me that God doesn't care for us It is Him I love It is Him I love Holy Father, we need to talk I have a secret that I can't keep I'm not the boy you thought you wanted Please don't get angry, have faith in me I mean just so sad so desperate for acceptance and just trying to even make your god understand your life when if god created you that way then he already understands you then the chorus don't you try and tell me that god doesn't care for us it is him i love this is my favorite line on the entire track don't you try and tell me that god does not care for us like you can't you can't say that um, I just feel like it's really powerful and it needs to be said. This song is him just preaching to the world to just understand he just loves a man. It's not that big of a deal. It's just love. So it's by far my favorite song on the album. It has a message. It's the truest to Sam's character and I just love it. All right, that's all the songs I'm going to talk about today, but let me know in the comments below if there's another album you guys want to talk about. Let me know if you've listened to the album and what you think and what are your favorite songs and what are your favorite lyrics. That's always my favorite part, just pulling out specific lyrics that speak to you. I hope you all go and listen to this album because it's really, really great. And after you do that, you smash the subscribe button on my channel. Thank you for watching and see you soon.